I want to tell a little something about how I build banjos now. Uh, the first banjo ever I made has been, I expect, 50 years ago. It was a wood rim banjo. And I played on that banjo a while and I decided I'd make uh, a metal rim banjo and it beat the wood rim. And I sold the wood rim banjo and I don't know what's ever become of it. It's probably tore up before now. And I kept the metal rim banjo and I played on it a long time and finally bought me a, a new banjo, a factory made one, and I sold the one I had and I played on it a long time and then I went into it and made me a banjo of my own again and I liked it, it had such a good tone, I sold a factory banjo and I've stayed with my own make of banjos ever since and that's been several years. And to make these banjos, this is the last style. <coughs> these banjos, this is out of a 56 model Buick transmission, automatic transmission, makes the body of this banjo. But it's a little bit too wide. I have to cut off about three quarters of an inch band off the bottom of, the, of this to make it down narrow enough for the depth of the banjo, up and down. And then I take a metal plane and I smooth it. Then I take um, sandpaper and <coughs> I shine it. Then the next thing is to drill the holes for the bracket lugs ever so far apart around this rim. And then I put them lugs on. And then the next thing is to make this narrow tension hook up here that holds the head. And then I lay the head on, and then lay the tension hook on, and then start adding the brackets. And put them, when I get them all on, why then I take a bracket wrench and I go around them and tighten the head down to the right tension, tight as I want it. And then the next thing is this neck. I take my wood and I shape it down, cut the uh, square hole through the rim of this banjo for this uh, part of the neck to go through. And then I glue the fingerboard on. And then the next thing is to uh, put these white position spots in there and then I take a file and even them down perfectly smooth with the fingerboard. And then I put the frets in there next and I press them in there with clamps. And then I uh, smooth them, even them up perfectly from end to end so one won't be a little higher than the other one to make the strings rattle or buzz. And then the next thing is to put the keys on. And I put them on and then the next thing is to varnish and finish the wood part of the banjo. Well, I go ahead and varnish and finish it. And then the <coughs> it's ready for the strings. And I put the strings on. And then I make the bridge and the tailpiece. And put that, uh, put the tailpiece on. And then I put the strings on and the bridge slips under the strings and it's the last. It's ready to tune up and start playing something like this. <coughs> 